Good evening. Thank you very much. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Good evening. Hope you're all well. Thank you very much for coming and joining us. Um, Friday night live. First one since I've been old man. What's he laughing at? <laughs> right. As you can hear, we've got Joe in the background. And we also have Brian. <laughs> so Good evening. Joe's come to keep us in straight and narrow, she reckons. Good luck with that one, Joe. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, Joe. So anyway, go on in, Joe. What are you going to say? Quick. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, okay, right. So. I'll make, I'll make a change. Thank you for coming over and joining us. Um, as you may or may not know, no live last Friday. So this is the first one since I'm an old man. So we'll see what we can do. Um, I'm going to be turning the platter tonight. Going to chuck some colour on it, make it bright and vibrant. Hopefully, um, Joe's going to keep me in track. She reckons. So uh, we'll see what happens. I don't what? know who's going. I don't what? know who's. Yeah, moi. I don't know who's going to read out the chat. They're arguing who's going to read the chat out. So I don't know who's going to read the chat. So anyway, I'm going to go over to the lathe. I'll show you what bit of wood I've got, and uh, we will go from there. Put some lights on. So we'll have a piece of, um, I believe that said elm writ on it, whether it is or not, I do not know. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a piece I got from Keith from Circular Wood. So I'll be on. Um, it's 12 inches across by around about inch and a half, maybe. No, I reckon inch and a half thick. Just over. inch, Just over an inch and a half thick. So the idea is to do a platter. It's got a nasty kink in it here. So it's got a bit of a dip in there and obviously a bulge on it where it's twisted a little bit. There was a crack in there and on the other side. So what I've done is I've super glued that. Hence why I'm going to colour it to get rid of the, the nasty bit on it. So while I get this rough turned, um, someone, I don't know who, will read out the chat. You don't like oh. committing yourself there, do you? Yeah, don't, don't commit yourself, Steve. It's be all right, like, what one of us will manage. I think I'm going to be able to. Will I do it, Joe? Will you do it? What do you think? Well, you we'll wanted toss, to do it to we'll, start we'll toss a coin for it? Will we toss a coin? Uh, go on, then. I don't know if I've got a coin. Have I got a coin? I'm, no, I'm oh, doing it. Oh, for crying out loud. Now, hold on. Hold on. I've got, I've got one of these. Look, I've got one of these. I've got one of these. Let's have a we'll look at the other side first. Oh, it's blank on the other side. Like, see no, blank. let's have a look. Yeah, all right, then. Be blank. And then. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. All right, you ready? Yeah. Oh, dear. oh it's blank. It's your turn, Joe. Sorry. Oh, you worm. <laughs> oh, dear, good, e dear. good evening, everybody, and oh, welcome. You can see how it's going to be this evening, can't you? Anyway, the people that are in are uh, Gary Glass, Michelle Oosby, Brian Harwood Turning. Oh, I'm here. Yeah, Dara Coulon. So enthusiastic. Tot hey. I'm doing it. Todd at Glencove Woodworks, Malcolm Douglas, Norman Greenwell, David Oti, we have Paul Hoyton, the Greasy Turner, we have Door 60, we have Keith Jarvis, Wood Turnings by Barry, we have Wavy Woodshed. Evening, Barry. Evening Wavy. Mark the Gentleman Woodturner. Hi, Mark. Here you, Mark. Gross. <laughs> Got Wood Wizard we'll by to Colin. Time to for the next one. Hi, Colin. How are you doing? Oh, you get, get lost, you. <laughs> <sighs> Give me one oh, of those I nights. We've got Neil M. We've got Tony it's Smith. It's just one of those days that you get now and then. <laughs> We've got Douglas Mungham. Evening, Douglas. Just trying to fill the pregnant David J. Okay. <clears throat> David J. Heath, the Guildford Carpenter. Susie Swiss Woodturner. Hello, Susie. Got Jennifer Craft and Creations. Ah, there's my friend and Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. We've got Benjamin. He's uh -oh. in. Trouble at Mill. Trouble at Mill. We've got Wayne, Wayne the Wood Turner. Evening, Wayne. You're supposed to fill these awkward moments. Michael Azopardi. Oh, sorry. Azopardi. Oh, 
as a party. As a party. Richard Benton. Hi, Dad. Dad. How you doing? That's Richard, man. It's good to see that's a new name, but it's not really. Yes, Dad. No, it comes it's in quite often. It does, I. <laughs> We've got Have Stephen got, the Wood uh, Dude is in. I was trying to go see, did you get Stephen? No, I'm just about to do it. Oh. Sorry, nearly fell asleep then. Right <laughs> oh, the boys in. Right the boys in. Right the boys in. Rise the boys. I haven't seen Rise the boys actually yet. Oh, he's in there, he is. He says good is evening, it? everyone. Yeah. Uh, it, it must be a bit further down. I'm just trying to get everybody. Go on, Joe. You can do it. Thank you very much. Ah, yes, Roy's the boy. I've got in Danny boy. Let's see. And Even I Danny believe boy. that is everybody. If I've missed anybody, if I do apologise, you can let yourself be known and I'll say hello to you. Um, but I think I've got everybody. She's missed anyway. So, Blame Brian. You put her slowly. off. Slowly. Yeah. There are 52 names. Uh, 52 people waiting. Welcome, everybody. Hope you're all well. Welcome along, everybody. Hope you've had a good week. And I hope you're all ready for the your Easter weekend. Krisky's yeah. Wood Creations is in. Oh, uh, Krisky. Hi, Chisky. It has been a beautiful day here. Yeah, has it? Absolutely, it's been a miserable day here all day. The, the it's been cloudy and it rained most of the morning, and it's just the clouds it, are just okay. starting to break up now. Oh well. It's going to be a nice sunny day tomorrow and then bucket and rain on Sunday. That's the plan for the weekend for you. Not good. You're not no. kidding about the wobble on that piece, uh, Steve. No, it is. Uh, I'll get rid of that in a minute. I'll get rid of that in a minute. I'm going to flatten this bit out here. Douglas Mungham says, please press the thumbs up. I agree. Everybody should press the thumbs up. I've already done it. So have I. According to my screen, there's 21 people giving a thumbs up so far. Okay. Anyway. So, so we um, think this is Elm. I think so. We think it is. Not always. Um, can't guarantee it, but we think it is. Are you going to be doing any texturing on it? I was thinking about the front edge. I was going to do some texturing. Okay. Yes, Joe. Yes, Joe. <laughs> he might do, Joe. If he, he doesn't... <laughs> If, if he didn't think about it, he is now. <laughs> oh, yeah, that sounds like, sounds like my kind of weather. Um, yeah. Yeah, that is a it's bit not rubbish, isn't nice. it? It's pretty, yeah. Now, Roy, Roy's the boy, said that, um, Steve, I heard your demo went uh, well. Glad to hear it. Yes, it was very good. Very, very good indeed. Oh, yeah, um, I haven't heard anything about this uh, demo yet. The, um, no. The, um... <laughs> Some of the uh, members were very quiet, let's put it that way. Um, but it was a good overall response. So, uh, yeah, I've been asked to do yeah. a couple more. So, well, Would oh, that have been some of the older members were very quiet, by any chance? Yeah, they just sort of come up there and sit there. You mean old like Brian? Uh, a bit older than Brian. I thought, you were going, I thought you were going to say Terry there because Terry's much older than I am. Yeah, but it's Brian that's giving me hassle tonight on on the live. So Ruby Clear, Ruby. Then. I was about to say Ruby's in. Hi, Ruby. Good afternoon, Ruby. It's afternoon where Ruby left. It's evening, yeah. And Susie the Swiss Wood Turner says, Question, question, question for Brian. Have <laughs> you any plans yet as to your resin turning in the near future? <sighs> Well, I have been gifted. I have been gifted a large piece of resin. Yeah, I told Jennifer not to send that like, to you. Which looks like that wasn't Jennifer; it was you, yeah, so and so. Um, so uh, I got a feeling there may be resin in my near future, possibly Monday night. <laughs> we'll, we'll do. We'll do an Easter egg on Monday, seeing it's Easter Monday. How about that? Is that day? There you go. So the, fans, present, isn't it? so the fans' wish has come true. Yeah. yeah. I've been bullied into it by a, a small number of people and a large number of people in the chat. I've been bullied. So. 
Not these people in the chat tonight, though. No? Well, some of them, yeah. Nasty people. I can't imagine you being bullied. Well, all, all the time, all the time. I would have never done that to a friend, bullied him like that. Jennifer Craft and Creation, Craft and Craft. Wait a minute, I'll be able to take it back in. Jennifer's Craft and Creation says, what, older than 80, 60? <gasps> Love you really, Brian. <laughs> right, Jennifer. Yeah. And Michelle is saying, Happy Easter, all. Oh. Happy Easter, Michelle. Of course, this is, the, this is the Easter weekend, of course. Not that it bothers me, any. To be fair, it doesn't bother me either. Unless I get a chocolate yeah. egg. Just one. I've already had my, I've already had my chocolate egg. I ate it the other night. And I made a mallet. Oh, that's right. You mallet. Ch- you Clunked it once, ate, didn't you? It's a yeah, and I, I ate the whole egg. <laughs> Come on, Michelle. Dave Oatley says, who would be that mean, Brian? Yes, Dave. Take yourself off to the bathroom, have a look in the mirror, and you'll find out. Billy Brown is in. What, Billy? Happy Easter to Happy you. Easter. We've got 59 people watching now. My goodness. Alex of Wooden Alex. Things is coming. Hi, Alex. Yeah, sure, you're, you're, you're on the ball this evening, Joe. Jeez. Oh, Alex is wanting to join get... in tonight. <laughs> I can't get a word in edgeways. <laughs> oh, you know what I did today? I was in the workshop today, Steve. You'll be proud of this. I had one of those little plug-in Alexa things. You know, you plug it in, then plug your appliance in on top. Yeah. So Alexa is now set up to switch on my extractor. Wow. Oh, what? Ah, oh, that's fabulous. <laughs> Paul Finley, good working at home is in. Good evening, Paul. So I now, on the middle of a live, well. in the middle of a live, you're going to go, Alexa, extractor on. Yep, I am indeed. Ooh. AGK Woodworks is in. Good, good evening. evening. Okay. So can you set Alexa to, to remind you to record then? I don't know if I could do that, Steve. That'd be a good. That'd be a good plan. Well, it would be Maybe a good plan. Maybe should just set a reminder every five minutes. Press record. Press record. Press record. Right. So put a little bit of texture in the bottom there. I think. Seems Brian wants texture. Have you got a different um, camera angle, Steve? Well, what, what do you want? What do you want? One of of the bench oh, or something? Is, what, 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 is, what, what, is, is that a, is that a better one? Oh, do you know? Oh, that's perfect. Steve, no, lovely. just so that we could see where you're yeah. texturing and and one like that, you mean? one like that. Yes, that's, that's better. God, which one better is? What's this? Which one's better? Call. Come on, hit the thumbs up. He says, and it says she's sure show, show and hate. Right, did you sorry. Show that you, or did you just press that button? Must have I just pressed that. Down. I pressed that button. I'm in control oh, yeah. tonight. Remember? Oh, jeez. <laughs> we Val. Hi, Val. Right, Val, how are you? Hey, we Val. So I'm just going to do a little bit of texture in the middle here, and I'm going to do a little bit on this on the on the foot, and I may even do a bit on here. I may. I may. Pushing the boat out now. Oh, I am. Right, so about 500 RPM. So Chris Wee says he hasn't done any uh, dunning this week. Been building myself up. I've been building myself a fish scaler. That's not something I thought would. Um... So just a little bit of texture in the bottom. Very useful if you eat a lot of fish, I suppose. Can you see that? Yeah, you can just see that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we can oh, see it. Just about to see it. Yeah. Well, I can see it. So I'm just going to put some stipple lines on this one, and then I'm just going to do a little bit <coughs> on this edge. Excuse here. me, I've got a bad cough. Yeah, it's going round a little bit, isn't it? It does. I had the strangest head cold this week. It was just on the right hand side of my head. Behind my right and behind my right eye and my right nostril was running, my left nostril was dry. How does that work? Perhaps it's just the empty side of your head. Right, so Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh don't make me cough, please. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just going to put a little. Lo- I'm just going to put a little line on the outside of that, and then a little line either side of that, and a little line either side of that. I'm going to use the skew. So, poor. 
to use the skew sideways. So Ben Jarman says he got a new budgie today, and it needs a it needs a name. Oh, Ben's been tweeting himself. Oh no! He's been tweeting himself. Very good new budgie. Yeah. I didn't know Ben <gasps> has uh, budgies, or is this just? I the didn't first? know he has either, but he he has a new budgie. And <laughs> Ben, Martin General Woodturner says, how about Condor? Oh. Condor. It's a budgie, Mark. All right, so just want a line I there. I think you should just call him Billy the Budgie. I'll see that very well. Can I just ask what the, um, the you know, your centre um, pattern that you made, yeah. what the actual yes. head of the... Um, tool. Yeah, I can't get my words out tonight, can I? What well, the head of the tool looks it, like. It looked like, yeah. And, right. Is that got a particular name to it, or is it just you just look at it and think that'll do that? That's a texturing tool, Joe. It's a spiral texturing tool. And it's for putting texture in like that. Yeah, but there are different heads. Aren't yes, there? You, you get yeah. different size cutters. Okay. Comes oh, with two. A, comes with that one. That's a spiraling texture tool. It comes with two one coarse one and one fine one. I've got you. Okay, fine. And it produces a spiral. Da da. If you if you just move it slowly, because it rotates at the same time. Right, so I'm just going to gently go over that and sand that. Oh, he's green. Oh, I see. Uh, so Ben's budgie is green, and he's got a mate called Bill. Oh, oh I wonder is if it, looking at our green it, parrot in, uh, in crew, if you get one. So Ben, tell me this, is it a female or a male? We need to know that before we can think about names, you know. I, that. <laughs> I don't know what you call a male budgie or a female budgie. No idea. We've got Brian El Tenero de Madeira in. Good Welcome evening, Brian. Brian. Uh, Welcome, Brian. Uh, you mean, what you mean is Brian with a Y. Oh, here we go. Hi, Brian with a Y. How you doing, buddy? Ah. Ah, Todd died. Hence the new one. No, that's a shame. You don't last very long, but you shouldn't, don't. No, they're... I remember having one as a child. They last longer gold, than had, hamsters. Well, that's true. I had a goldfish as well. He was called Tammy the Trout. I'm not even going there. Okay. Tammy the Trout. Yep. The trout being a Scottish word for trout. Tammy the Trout. How long did he last for? Uh, don't know, but he froze in his bowl one wonder. <laughs> the whole was he wasn't frozen, he was a suspended animation, that's what it was. Yeah, he was, eh? and, and it thawed out and he was still alive. Amazing. Wow. Okay, come on, Ben. What about this? Uh, what about this? Is it female or a male? Come on, hurry up. Get a grip. Um, Mark, Mark, oh. Steve. Check your abrasives. I may have been putting them back in the wrong order on Saturday. Becky, you better not have been. Uh, you, you could almost guarantee it was. You, you, let, you, let, you, let, you let somebody in a Becky. proper workshop for once and they mess it all up. Yeah, a nice, tidy, clean workshop, which you, you would never know. Right? I mean, Mark wouldn't know what that looks like. He dropped sand and sealer all over my bed. He did. Did you have to repaint your... Uh, yeah. Your, uh, yep, I thought that, yep. Untidy Holly in the ears. Right, is a male, Brian. It's a male, okay. So we need a male name for a budgie. A green budgie. Dave. Mm. No. Sean. Sean. What, spell S-E-A? Oh, I, can't, I can't think of, I can't, th oh, Brendan. Brendan the budgie. There you go, an Irish name. Brendan the budgie. For a green budgie, there you go. <sighs> That would do, would it not, Brendan the Budgie? Can't think any more um, Irish names that begin with B. Now, Mark's saying that he was distracted, being distracted by Terry. No, no. No, Terry was just being... Terry. Terry. Terry, yeah. <laughs> and Val's saying she's made her first bud vase. Very Yay. nice. Yay! She made a first bud buzz. Is that a bud buzz to put your lovely flowers in? 
Well. Well, it's quickly 61 sounds. people watching. Oh, welcome all. Thank you very much for coming over. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Roy the Boy says, Steve, what was Mark doing your bed? Doing on your bed? I'm getting worried now. <laughs> talking about the lathe bed. Um, <clears throat> let's keep it clean. <laughs> and, and Dave Ott is suggesting if it's a green budgie, how about Paddy? <laughs> oh, that's not a bad idea. Paddy the budgie? Well, there's no ring to that. Paddy the budgie. Yeah, but it's good for other reasons. Okay, yeah, okay. Makes a good hog, oh, call him St. Patrick. It's Patrick, the budgie. I can't remember who uh, AGK Woodwork says. I can't remember his name, but he's asking if you had a good birthday weekend, Steve. I had a very good birthday weekend, thank you very much. It was uh, a very good weekend. <laughs> Just went so quick. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it too. Only Pete smit me with a cold or somewhere. Yeah, I think oh, I got. It, blame Pete. I think I got my cold off of Pete as well. He did. Oh, we definitely did. Pete's there's Pete. All oh, Pete's fault. All right, so a bit of sound. Usually, and Mark, usually Mark gets blamed, but that was Pete this time. I mean, I've got a cold. I've not even been in your uh, company. So it's obviously mm. going round for everybody. Excuse me. You yawning? Yeah, I was uh, kind of bored watching this. Uh, <gasps> oh. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Well, can, I'm just you, tired. You can always go and watch... I'm, only, Emma, I'm only joking. You can always go watch Emmerdale Farm. <laughs> oh, I'm almost in Emmerdale. Oh, oh, I'll be back shortly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, is this sanding cereal that you're putting on them? Yes, it is. Here, 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 hold oh. on. Wait, you're jumping the gun here. You're jumping the gun. Why am I jumping because, the gun? Uh, there's been a suggestion of burn lines. Burn lines? Who said burn lines? Uh, Douglas. Oh. What? Wouldn't you know? I didn't say Douglas nothing. Douglas says burn lines. lines. Somebody else said burn lines as well. Did I see it somewhere else? Yeah, no, no burn lines on No, this. I think it was Douglas. Okay, then. I think it looks nice as it is. It is, so I'm going to leave it like that. I was going to spray it black, but I think I'm going to just leave it like that, actually. Yeah, I think it looks really nice. Why, why were you going to spray it black? Because I was going to um, gold embellish what in these pieces. What was the crack look? What does the crack look like? What's the crack look like? Turned it out, you know? Okay, I'm chucking sand and seal everywhere. Whoops. Yeah, but it's has a lathe bed. I'm not chucking sand and seeing really, There's not a spot on this bed. Look, look. Not a spot. I'm sure there's not. Not on the nice grey table that's underneath your left bed. So I just burnish that. Oh. Ben Jama suggests he's a, bit, he's a good bit smaller than Bill. We could call him Wee Bill. Mm. But will, nice, he, yeah. will he grow bigger, Ben? Is it because he's a young bird that uh, he's so small? Uh, Roy says, Brian, I've just watched Steve's birthday pop on live yesterday. You look bored then. I was busy concentrating. I'm never bored, Murray. Never bored. I was concentrating on what Mark was doing. I was actually taking videos of what Mark was doing. We was all fascinated. Fast, fast, yeah. Well, we was all fascinated by the, by the professional yeah, turner. Yeah, that did. No, don't you start. <laughs> Who's having a... What's she having a cardiac? Are you having a cardiac, Joe? Oh, no, but I thought I was three weeks ago. <clears throat> yeah, Mark, Mark no, just I'm said, fine. Uh, if you haven't chucked it everywhere, you ain't used enough. Yeah. I would suggest if you're chucking it everywhere, you're using too much. So, so now what are you putting on, Steve? Hampshire Sheen High Gloss Wax. What? Oh, Yorkshire grit? No, no Yorkshire grit, because I don't want it filling all my oh. textures in. No, it does fill in, doesn't it? Shit. Colin from Wood Wizardry says, nice grain pattern. Mm, what happened to the nice. crack? How, how does the crack look in it now? Well, I don't know. I can't see the crack, to be honest. Is that it there? Oh, yeah. That's it. Oh, it's just, there. just that little tiny bit there. there. Is it? Can't, can't oh, see okay. your hand. 
Oh, it's fine, huh? I can see it, can I can't. Well, I couldn't. I can see most of the the work, but just not quite all of it on the sides. Mark, Mark was in the wood and I just said, No grit. I yeah. know. He's I in know. bed, so he'll be all right. He'll be fine. He's in bed sleeping. He's nice, poorly. Is he still positive? Oh, no, Glyn's up. He, um, he's not tested right. today. He te- he's tested right. for the last couple of days. I think he's going to give it a rest for a couple of days and have another test. There goes Mark straight back to the top of the list. On the plus side, uh, no singing. <laughs> he did go back to the top of the list. He is on the oh, top of the list good. anyway. Don't panic, Alex. There's another side to come. Alex thinks he's going to miss you singing, Joe. Well, you know, I'll make up for it next time. <laughs> Wood turning by Barry. Brian, ask Steve overhead lights. He will know what I mean. Uh oh. This Brian. must have been something at the demo, was it? Is that Barry Stammer or Barry? Good time, he's my buddy. Hi, Barry. Is that Barry O? Yeah, no, no, no. It's Barry Stammer. I was meant to send him um, a link for some light. Sorry, mate, I forgot. Oh, I, he, he's good at that. Does that to me all the time. I'll send you a link, Brian. Yeah, never sends it. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. They're getting at you, Steve. That's not right, is it? It's all right. I don't care, Joe. Is, it, is it the little square lights that uh, is it the little square lights that Steve uses? Because I've got them as well. I might have the link if Steve yes. doesn't. Yes, I, I did say they're six thousand five hundred kelvins um, yep. from from Amazon, uh, about two hundred mils square. Let me just measure quickly. I think they're about ten inches. Two well, nine inches. Two thirty by two thirty. They are yeah, or two two five, two two five. Right. So let's flip this. Oh, you've got 68 people watching. Oh, welcome, everybody. Oh. And it's quarter past eight. So I was going to say you've been going for half an hour, but you, you, you haven't been going for half an hour because you slept in. I slept in. Oh. Again. Brian said, do my tradition, be yeah. late. People oh. love it. People <laughs> love it, yeah. People love it when you're late. Fashionably late, I said. Be fashionably late. That's the way you go. <laughs> We are always switch off and drink tea first. That's why. Well, you can't you can't turn a you can't turn a, a nice object without a cup of tea. It doesn't work. Wait for us, Paddy said. No grit, no singing. Wait, we'll get there. Wait. No, I think Steve's going to chuck a Steve? bit of filler on this side, isn't he? Steve. Yes, bro. Why is there why is there tram lines on your uh, back of your wall? Because it weren't quite round. Uh, so I did it so I put the face plate screws in between the tram lines. So I'm gonna clean idea. this I'm gonna clean this off because it's a bit thicker but, there than it is there. And is all is all that white stuff, is that there? Is that That's exploded glue. um CA glue? Yes it is. But she's now gone. Martin, she's she's now good. gentleman wrote down and says to me, How was the roof done, Brian? Well, we had we had uh, Sunday roast this evening because Matthew is uh, working Saturday and Sunday, uh, and he's on he's on mid, he's on mid shift, which involves the afternoon basically and evening. So we had our Sunday dinner today. Okay. So I had roast potatoes and roast chicken. Who cooked it? <sighs> it was lovely. Michelle cooked it. It was lovely. It was yummy. But then, of course, we went and sat down in my chair afterwards, and then, like, it's what happens <laughs> when you do after a roast dinner, yep. After, fell asleep. Yep. Well, I wasn't quite sleeping, I was just kind of hovering between the land of Nod <laughs> <laughs> and somewhere else. I'm not sure where somewhere else was at the time. And then somebody rudely interrupted me by saying, have you got the link? 
Well, you know. Ben Jamma says you ruined Friday with a Sunday roast. Well, it was either it was either Friday, it was either a Sunday roast, so it was Matthew Gravy's Sunday roast, or order Chinese, which is a Saturday night tradition. Oh, well, then it would have been off the cup. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not changing my son's Saturday night for this. He even made us have he even made us have Chinese over here last Saturday just to get you know, his Chinese I didn't, I on a didn't Saturday night. Didn't at all. That, that's, that's not Did true he? at all. You offered. He said, he "If I don't have my Chinese old. on a Saturday, I'm going to sulk." I'll, I'll be. In the oh, house. I can't imagine say, uh, Brian saying he'd sulk. Never, not a chance. Nothing bothers me enough to cause me to soak. Oh, did you have Chinese? <laughs> we did. Oh. Yes, we did. We were too poorly to do anything. I, I had chicken with oyster sauce. It was gorge. And Alex of Wooden Thing says, it's called a power nap, Brian. No, it's not. It's just called being a lazy so-and-so. <laughs> and falling asleep, basically. Uh, just Douglas Manon says it's fish on Friday. Now, Douglas, that, that's, a, that's a hangover from... Um, from the Roman Catholic Church, I we'll have to say, or the Catholic Church, whatever you want to call these days, um, you, you weren't allowed to eat meat on a Friday because you were supposed to be eating the body of Christ, but anyway, I, know, I thought he was a human, not a fish. Anyway, it was one of them silly rules, but it's been changed. The Pope changed it. Don't have to yeah. eat fish on a Friday. Now, Mark said he did. He forced us all to have Chinese, put his foot down. I did. And then Pete said, Brian Foster's all to eat Chinese. Oh, he would have been even ha happier. <laughs> the Yorkshire gets in. Good evening, Glenn. Glenn. Good evening, evening Glenn. Glenn. Hope you're feeling better, buddy. So, let's take a little bit of thickness off this wall. Get this down a little oh, bit. Fish and Brady. Fish and Brady. And Ben Jarman says, replacing Sunday roast with Chinese food makes complete sense to me. Well, yeah. I kind of agree there, Ben. I like Chinese food, I have to say. I like good Chinese food. Sometimes it's not very good. Depends where you get it. They've only had a fry-up. Oh. It's hard to be a good old fry-up, Dave. I love uh, full Irish or full English breakfast in the morning. You also get some bit crap today. Everybody uh, put a little goodwill message in there for Glenn. Tell me, get better soon. Definitely. Oh, Douglas Mung's already done. Oh, no, Douglas. Yes? We don't like it when any of our colleagues and friends in the wood turning world are a bit poorly. It's not good. Yeah, and I, <clears throat> and I kind of feel guilty because I've given them it. So. Ah, it's your fault. It is my fault. It's all my fault. Yeah, see, Joe had to go to the hospital every day for nearly two weeks there. <laughs> and, I mean, <laughs> hospital was just full of sick people. <laughs> you're, you're almost guaranteed to bring something back out again. Aye, did that. Easy to switch to you. Aww. Right, the boy says, Steve. I, I, there must be an ulterior motive behind this question. Are you going to use your grit on this side? I'm just asking. I don't know yet, Roy. I will what do in the middle. I will, I, I will do in the middle. I wonder was he thinking about his uh, hearing aids as we're turning down there. <laughs> <laughs> what? <clears throat> Benjamin Glynn. It's a good thing you've just to send your lullabies to send you off to sleep. Keep it quiet there, Roosby. Keep it quiet. <coughs> I'm glad I was drinking at the time. Then. I was having a little sip of my Dunbar just then. Ah, Dunbar. Surprise. You should surprise say that. I think Glyn's on Dunbar as well. Right. It's medicine for the evening. Surprisingly Moorish. You didn't like. It. I thought you didn't like doing bar. I didn't think. I didn't think I would like it, Steve, because I don't really like brown uh, beer. But it's actually quite nice. I think the amount you've drunk of, I think your your taste buds are immune to it. Oi! Oi! Yeah. Oh yeah, I'd say that as well. Yeah. 
the rumours of me uh, drinking Pete's house dry is is grossly overstated. Well, I would imagine was there Pete any and his Zumba brother... left when you finished? Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I would imagine with Pete and his. I would imagine with Pete and his brother were both drinking it. I can say, yeah. <laughs> See, so uh, I'm not taking the I'm not taking the blame for all of it. I thought was, of him, maybe. You was going to say <laughs> I'm not taking the camp for it, aren't you? <laughs> not taking the camp for it. Yeah, oh, very good. Right. Douglas Mungham says, Brian, egg, bacon, black pudding, haggis, mushrooms, bread, and butter. No, no. I'm not sure about the haggis bit. It's egg, bacon, sausage, white pudding, black pudding, potato bread, soda bread, tomatoes, and beans. There you go. That's the best breakfast. Never get soda bread or potato bread. Um, in, in England, but that's part of an Irish breakfast. Ah. So when you get a full Irish, you get potato bread and soda bread, as well as everything else that's on an English breakfast. Right. That's what makes it Irish. Because okay. the plate's uh, upside down. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying that be an Australian breakfast. Steve, I mean... <laughs> Uh, that's that's cheese, just being racist. Yeah, you can't Pete, say that, Brian. Pete, well, you just said it was upside down because it was Irish. Pete from Twisted Trace has just said, all I can say is that we have never run out of Dunbar before, but when Brian was here, there was no Dunbar left in the house. <laughs> well, well, that says it then, now. It's okay, since I have replaced it. <laughs> Tipsy Turner has joined us. Good morning, afternoon, good evening. Oh, Dave Oakley says you can keep the pudding, Brian. And the officer gets this. What's white pudding, Brian? Yeah, what is it? I mean, uneducated heathens. White pudding. It's a delicacy yeah. in Scotland. It is in Ireland, too. It's not something dodgy, is it? You can get a nice white pudding supper in Scotland from the chip shop. So it's like a deep fried in butter. Yeah. Gorgeous. What is it? If you go to the steeple chippy in Kerry Muir, you will get the best white pudding supper that you've ever had. So what's in it? You're not answering the question. You're not answering the question. What's in it? Because I don't know what's in it. It's just lovely. Oh, what? There's Derek. Hi, Derek. Derek, has a right. Hi, oh, Derek. Athens Wood Studios. Says hello, people. Good evening. Uh, Martin Jarman is over at Ben Morris is selling. Or you can get it on Amazon. I'm going to have to look up one. Food bar or a white pudding we're talking about? <laughs> What's he laughing about now? Oh, I have no idea. Did he just gone? Is he just put down his underpants? Is like. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Derek, rest of the cheek about coming here. <laughs> we'll have to take you to the ball. Which is a good old rugby song. There's oatmeal and white pudding, says we Val. There is indeed oatmeal in it. And herbs and spices and all sorts of other stuff. It's gorgeous. Sounds, uh, yeah. And you have it with what? This is very nice. What do you have it with? Chips. You can have it with anything. You know how black pudding comes in a little, like a little sausage in a casing? Yeah. Well, white pudding comes in the same sort of packaging. It's very, very nice. Oatmeal, barley and bread crumbs. Ah, there's more to it than that, Gary. Yeah, it doesn't include blood. Is what it's no, there's no blood in it. No, no, there's no blood in it. It's the blood that makes black pudding. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure. All right. Black pudding's lovely. <laughs> ben Jarman says, the only pudding worth trying is rice pudding. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, just a sweet thing, that. Well, well, I think it's more like spotted pork. dick. Hey, easy tiger. Oh, uh, uh, jam really, really. It's oh. as well you didn't type that. That would have been held up by YouTube. 
<laughs> oh, no. Right, sand and seal this. He boldly says it's white pudding, anything like hogs pudding. I have no idea. I've never heard of hogs pudding. Can't answer that. <laughs> yeah, Derek says white pudding, black pudding. Yeah, and fried deep fried Mars bars are all for tourists. Real Scottish folk prefer Chinese. Now that's something I'd like to try. Yeah, there Mars speaks bar. a class region. So, you're putting sand and sealer on again? I am. I am putting sand and sealer on. You see, I'm keeping are, up. Are you, not, uh, hold, oh, you must be painting this now, are you? I'm going oh, to... get paint. I'm going to spray it black. Ooh. He's going to chuck some colour at it, he said. Gary Glass says it's hard to beat a haggis supper. In fact, he said nothing beats a haggis supper. Haggis is quite nice. I like haggis. Particularly with a bit of mash neep and a little, just a drizzle of whiskey over it. What, like a litre? Oh no, just a drizzle, just a little drizzle, you know, like a... So just, do you need this? A litre? <laughs> yeah, just, you know, just a drizzle. <laughs> you, know, like, like, you know, like one of them Jamie Oliver drizzles, you know, he just kind of drizzles things over. Uh, the way that uh, James Martin uh -oh. uses butter. Yeah, Shacked again. Yeah. <clears throat> Yorkshire Grit says you're psyched again. Why's that? Sand and seal and then spraying it with paint. Oh, well. No Yorkshire Grit. See, you're in trouble again. Well, so, I, I did promote it the other night. Says. Nobody nobody ever heard of sand, uh, Yorkshire Grit till at the Kings in Wood Turning Group until I did my demo. So. That's, uh, that's strange. Wait, 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 I've just lost that. Uh, the other one says neep and putties. It means putties in the mark. <clears throat> there's, yeah. there's an A in putties. So turn the lathe down, extraction on. Why is, why, is Mark, why is Mark slacking? What's he done now? What's Mark slack that now? All this talk of Doomba or Doombe, I've just opened the first of the evening. Ah, oh, I mean, where have you been, Mark? It's half past eight. It's, 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 yeah. yeah, it's half past eight. Even Glynn's on Doom Bar. It's his medicine for the night. <laughs> this is my medicine for tonight. It's Friday night. I'm having a few Doom Bar. So, two. what what's the spray that you've put on, um, Steve? It's chestnut, ebonizer, and lacquer. Ah, oh, right, okay. It's uh, Glynn's second. Yes, Dave, that's so. my first beer of the evening, yeah. I've got some um, cider. Dark. I, start, I started off with the best of intentions. We've got a cup of tea sitting here. It's cold now. It's, it's, cold? it's cold now. It's cold now, so I'll just have to drink the beer instead. <laughs> Gary Glass says his mum makes mealy puddings. Now, my mother used to talk about mealy puddings, but I don't think I've ever had a mealy pudding. Well, mealy pudding, and when I looked it up on um, the white pudding on... Um, Google, it mentioned right. mealy pudding as an alternative mm. name for it. Did it then? So it's white pudding then? White pudding or mealy pudding, it said. <clears throat> Pete, Pete, why are you still in the workshop, Pete? It is late. I'm not starting. It says I'm not starting in a doom bar yet. Late is still on. Well, Pete, top last day again, the house. Um, Colin, it is black ebonizing lacquer by chestnut products. It is. So Brian with the Y says, uh, he has a lovely memory of sitting on the edge of the, I think it's supposed to be beautiful, the beautiful Firth, Firth the Fourth, I think it that is, watching dolphins and eating deep fried haggis and chips. I was thinking he was watching the dolphins eating the deep fried yeah. haggis and chips. <laughs> I'd read <laughs> Uh, ben Jarman suggests that these lives are sponsored by Your Grit, Doom Bar, and the SK114 Chuck. <laughs> Nobody's mentioned the SK114 Chuck, Ben Jarman, until you did. That camera's all blurry. Why is that camera all blurry? I don't know. Have you I got an autofocus? Autofocus? Yeah, I think so, because the amp's machine's looking very clear. That's bad. The label. All right, oh, so, yeah. black. Label. Where do you see the label? Oh, there you go. So I'm just going to put a there we go. line in there. 
now to go where I'm going to finish, where I'm going to part the middle. I like oh, about there I like anyway. Where the bowl is going to be. Yeah. Oh, it's just a small bowl then, or a small dish, should I say? Yeah, it's not very thick, is it? So that's what I'm going to take out. Blue on the other camera. Sorry, it does, it does look. It did look to another camera. Yeah, that's that I webcam that you never get the camera. You never get the color right on webcams, can you? Not really, not. So, Joe Sonia's, oh, I think. Oh, the Bewley Oh, in the Highlands. Oh, I get now. I know who you are now, Gary. The Bewley first. Yeah, okay. Sorry, Gary. So, I'm going to use some Joe Sonia colours on that, I think. Okay. So, I'm going to go for... <gasps> red. The Bewley first is at the end of the Molly first. Oh, I see. Green. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't think so. There's more chance to the seagulls eating the haggis supper, right? And blue. They're the three yeah. colours I'm going to go for. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, Steve, what were the three colours again? Well, if you hadn't been talking, you'd have very heard, wouldn't you? <laughs> Green, blue and red. <laughs> That'll be me told then. Eh? I'll be sitting here and be quiet. I've got to get a, bit, get a bit of cardboard to put them on. I'm just trying to entertain the chat. You're doing a grand job, Ryan. Now shut up and listen. Ryan's not really Scottish, it's all a night. <laughs> right. It's a strange thing you should say that, Mark. I was born in Scotland. I lived there for 15 and a half years and, I and, and then I went back for a spell of about, oh, I think, eight years ish. And then I came back here again. So I've lived over here for longer than I've lived anywhere else. Wow. All right, so I'm going to use a sea sponge to uh, texture this. So I'm going to, so I'm going to spread. Oh, it is an actual I hope one. that's not a real sea sponge. Yeah, can you see the planet disappearing? Oh, we'll have the eco warriors on their tail now. Oh, well, leave me a message and I'll get back to you eventually. Right, so. Okay. Steve's address is skcrafts at btinternet.com, by the way, if you really want to, <laughs> to complain about his use of a... Oh, that's very green, because quite often they're not, it's not, is it, with just on you? For a while it takes the... Well, it's not. Uh, yeah, well, I'll put it on quite thin, so that's why yeah. it's showing up. The so thinner you put it on, more... the quicker it turns. Yeah. Well, the quicker it turns. Ah. It goes on white, basically. Right, so that's the green. So I'll get another sponge. Another bit there. And we'll do this, this is one. True, Gary. I still have a salt tire. Do the blue. So this is the blue, but that looks more purple to me. But we'll see what it looks like. Iridescent. Is it not purple? It's not iridescent purple. No, it's iridescent blue, that one. Oh, okay. So now, I had a question the other day about iridescent paint. Somebody said it was very expensive. It is quite expensive. But the good thing is, that a little of it goes a very long way. Yeah, it does. So I, I bought that. That's the little sample pack you have there, Steve, as well, isn't it? The small balls. Yeah, this is the, the yeah, this is the starter kit. I bought the starter kit and I'm still using it. Yeah, I've had mine nearly two years ago. Yeah, yeah. mine's mine's about the same age. They do last. You don't need a lot. <laughs> oh, <coughs> it goes a long way. Mm. And you know what they say? You get what you pay for. Yeah, isn't the starter kit around eighty pounds or something like that? No, it's not. I that. can't remember what you off the top of my head. I don't think it's that sort of money. I need to check. Will I? I think it's cheaper than that, to be honest. Oh no, we're talking about Joe Sonia's that way. I was thinking about um, up Shane. So that's the blue, which actually looks purple, but anyhow. So now we'll go red. Yeah. No. Michelle's got it right. Only twelve ninety nine now. That's exactly so the right price. <laughs> well, that's they're dry pants, don't get that. I think they're 50 about fifty plus four. pound. Matt said. Yeah, I, I thought that was about. I think when I bought mine, it was, yeah. it was about forty five quid. I think when I bought bought mine. 
Right, so red. Just spread out my finger so we don't get thick dollops on our sponge. It's uh, been quite a nice effect with using that sponge. You get a different texture, don't you, every time you use a different sponge, which is... Yeah. Looks quite pink, doesn't it? Yeah, the red always does look very pink unless you put it, it does look unless pink, you put, yeah. unless you put it straight on the black, it always does look a bit pink. But it's not very red, I don't think. So that's the colours. Put them over there. So I want the red's quite hard very to nice. quite hard to achieve. There's a strong red. Yeah, I've never actually. But, I, I don't think I've ever had Martin a have terrible trouble. Yeah. <laughs> So we've just got to dry it off a little bit now with the hot air gun. Not too much because we'll bubble the uh, the uh, ebonizing lacquer. I had that problem. What, too much heat? Yep. You don't do it twice. No. I had to turn the whole lot back off again. I've lost the chat. My chat's disappeared. <coughs> it's it? back. Yeah, it's back again. <coughs> is it Derek? Did There's you seven, say? Is, 71 in, lovely people watching. <coughs> oh, I believe it's Derek. said I had to laugh the other day. I suggested Wayne gets a Dremel pistol grip. He said he didn't have the dosh and he carved on the Simon Hope carving jig <laughs> with a laughy face. Yeah. yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> I suppose you've got to choose what you're going to buy, don't you? And... This is true. Somebody, did somebody say Ben and horses? What was that about horses and Ben? What's that? Michelle said something about horses. I must some well, chat there. Ben, ben was saying that everything in, the, in this hobby is expensive. It's just yeah, varying basically. levels of expensive... Um, and then obviously Michelle said, "Don't get into horses." Yeah, um, exactly. Don't. It's like any hobby, though, isn't it? You 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 don't start. You start for the basics and just gradually add and add That's and it. add until you you know you don't go and buy two sets of tools. You don't go and buy six chucks and what you you gradually add to them like you do a toolkit. You see, you yeah. see the problem is with horses. You just kind of buy one at a time, and then suddenly you discover you get eight the damn things. You think, I damn. Why eight horses? <laughs> yep. <clears throat> There's no need for that, Mark. The gentleman would turn up. That was a mistake. Oh, says I suppose I should click the, th the thumbs up thingy button. Some others need to as well. You're absolutely right. They do. There's only thirty-six people with their thumbs up clicked. According to my Richard. chat. Richard's, or his dad, it says it looks like a flower bed. It does, doesn't it? It does. I'm just trying to dry it so we get rid of them white bits. I spent, I, yeah, I got a glass I spent many great weekends in Aberdeen, I like mostly in the beach end. In the beach end. I'm not sure what the beach end is. But regardless, I spent a few days in Aberdeen. It was always freezing. My mother took us there and made us wear swimming trunks and go into the North Sea. It was Baltic. I'll make your mind up. Was it the North Sea or the Baltic? No, it was North Sea, but it was Baltic. <laughs> right. You so, know what I mean. So it's still, a, you can just see there where you put it on too thick. You can get, like you were saying, Joe, about the white bits. Yeah. There's a couple of bits here as well. But... <coughs> so you can obviously lack. You can obviously lacquer that if you wanted to lacquer it. Um, I might lacquer actually, but I'm going to turn the middle out. 
because I actually quite like that. Mm, it's very pretty. So I'm just going to sharpen my gouge up to take that centre out. Right, the boy says, a bit like bees. <laughs> you start with one hive, you now has ten. Wow. I should suppose I should have a beehive up in our fields up here. You're good for pollinating the trees and stuff. And the Let's think of the free honey you get. No, it's not. I wouldn't be worried about the honey so much. Bees Our bees are in decline. We could do with some more bees. Hmm. Oh, Petodre. Aberdeen's home ground. Petodre. A hmm. windswept hovel if I ever met one. Right, so... Right, let's get this hollowed out. It's very uh, Monet-esque, said uh, Mr. Uh, Mark, the general. What's that, mean? What's that mean? You're a painting. You're a picture, Dan. It's very Monet-esque. All right, okay. What's that mean, though? Uh, Monet's a painter, Steve. All right, okay. Yeah. So it All looks right. similar to think like the things he used to paint. Oh, Douglas Mung had a week in Pitlochry. Pitlochry's a nice place. Did you go and visit the salmon ladder? It's about the only thing in Pitlochry. <laughs> now, Glynna suggested I would lacquer and dry before turning the middle out. No, it would still be tacky, wouldn't it? Ah, you'll be fine. Turn the middle out. You'll regret it and then lacquer over your regret. It's fine. What a treat. You also beat the Hampshire Shane. Colin suggests it'll make the colours pop if you do. Say again, sorry. Can I glass? Uh, <coughs> Colin says it will make the colours pop if you do. Like a take these day. Yeah, it was it? Right, the boy said that I've had 200 plus jars of honey last year. Wow. It's a lot of honey. Wow. It is, isn't it? One, one bee doesn't make very, very much at all. And Gary Glass says he caught his first salmon in Pit Lockley. Oh, very good guy. Ben Jarman says his mum used to, uh, had a massive row of lavender, which attracts an amazing amount of bees. I've just planted a load. Hopefully get the same result. You will indeed. That's great. I just bought some lavender for the garden. Yep. It's good that good plant. Grows well. It's a survivor. David Nichols joins. Hi, Dick, David. Hi, David. 75 people watching now. We're just on the other. Douglas says he stayed in the cottage in the Alistair Estate. Okay, I don't know that one now, Douglas, but I'm sure it was very nice. Did you get any sunny days? <laughs> Not too many of them in Scotland. It's got a few little marks in there. See if we can get rid of those. I have a whole uh, a whole score of lavender up in a bank up at the yard that we planted right. and uh, just letting it grow. We also have a lot of uh, soft fruit bushes, um, red currants, black currants, that kind of thing. The bees love them too. Oh, fruit they do. Let's see if I can hold nice. that. Let's see if I can hold the colour on. I'm not happy with that colour. Harry's camera. Wood Creations is in. Good Hello, evening, Barry. Barry. How you doing, Barry? That does look more blue, doesn't it, than it does? I think that's the best I'm going to get on the picture. It does on the picture I'm looking on StreamYard. Mm. Well, not on StreamYard, but uh, Skype. But the picture is on YouTube, which is kind of frozen at the moment. Why frozen up? Right, so let's polish that up. 
Do, 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 do. So I'm going to sand that with a drill. The big reason being is I don't want to, I want to try and keep that tight edge. So, so the way to keep the tight edge is when you're bringing your, what, when you're bringing your drill back, only have this part of the <laughs> disc rub on the edge there. If you come past, you're going to curve, curve it. So, yep. Extraction on. Careful. Speed up. Alexa, extract her on. Uh, <laughs> and Douglas says, hey, Brian, we drove up on Friday, got up on Saturday morning to the car under two feet of snow. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, it sounds like a nice day in Scotland. Was that, in, was that about April time, maybe? <laughs> yeah, and Alex of Wooden Thing says you get liquid sunshine in Scotland. You absolutely do. It can be cooled. So we'll take this up to 240. And then we'll grit it just to keep Joe and Glenn happy. <laughs> yeah, just, just, to, just to get up to withdraw your P45, yeah. <laughs> My internet is going funny. Uh. Well, I won't keep playing the YouTube page. It keeps pausing it for some reason. Now, uh, Yoshi Gret says, oh, don't be worrying about us now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right, Glenn. Never hear the end of it. Oh, Travis Repon has actually um, said that it's from Texas and they don't do snow there. Yeah. It's coming. Quiet over there. What happened there? Everywhere. Don't know. Everywhere. It's all went quiet. The chat has this. Yeah, it put me off. Oh, well. Todd from Glencoe Woodwork says there's been plenty in the last two years in the <laughs> Dallas area. That's in Texas. All right, so San Texas is, is Texas is a very big place, isn't it? It is. So just remember, try and get it over your... Uh... Paint. Your paint, because it will take the paint off. Oh, you mean don't do a mark and just throw it at the thing? Yeah, be gentle. Be gentle. Alex, I wouldn't think says that's nice colour, Steve. Thank you, Alex. I think it. I think it is. Very pretty. I do wish they'd get a, they would sort out the red though, because I would like a nice bright red. I think I would suggest they're all mesmerised by the platter spinning. Look, secretly, it's one of them hypno discs. Breathe slowly. When you hear my fingers clap, you'll all be seals. <laughs> seals? Yeah, you Penguins know. is better. Is it? It's getting very dark in here. I think we'll have to put a light on. There we go. Right, so Yorkshire grit. <sighs> Travis suggests that they had a, a bad ice storm two years ago, and he's in central Texas. Wow. Right, so. Yorkshire grit has added, it might be nice when it's gritted. <coughs> mm. Meow. No, he, he said be nice once it's gritty. It is indeed, Douglas. <laughs> uh, I have to say it's quite hard to beat Scotland for scenery. 
Yeah, yeah it is so lovely. There are some amazing scenery in Scotland. As I feel pity can be oh, soft no, as no. your face with light brown Yorkshire gritty. You sneaked up on me there, Joe. Wasn't ready for that at all. I was actually going to join in and do a little duet. Aye. <sighs> no, I thought you were actually going to start howling. No, no, that's Terry. Yeah, but, you know. Mm-hmm. You know me, Joe, I'm not on the list. I'm a nice fellow. <laughs> a punk. <laughs> what are you yeah, copying? Yeah, you're not on the list now. See that? I knew it wasn't. Parsley, oh, a parsley smock. Quilter. A parsley smock. Paisley. Does that say paisley? I thought it said parsley. P A I, paisley. Paisley. I know. Paisley, yeah, I know. A paisley pattern. Oh, no. Mark General Ward Turner says, My ears, my ears, dear God, the pain. Or dear Lord, the pain. Yeah. The cheek of some people. Doesn't. The cheek. And Todd from Grand Cove says, For goodness sake, give us a warning the next time at least. You did. Steve wiped it on. I mean, how much of a warning do you want? <laughs> yeah. I even said Yorkshire grit, you know. Colin, Colin suggests that North Wales is, is very nice as well. And I agree, North Wales is a beautiful place. I've, I've spent many to happy hour, or maybe not so happy, tramping about the mountains in Wales, in north of Wales. Scenery's better in North Wales than South Wales. People are better in South Wales than they are in North Wales. Ooh. I wouldn't go as far as to say that. I don't really know anybody from Wales. Can't really comment. Joe can stretch some of those words into more, into about five more syllables than they actually have. <laughs> Cheeky. Yeah. Whitney Houston, eat your heart out. Hey, Chalman says, between all these accents, I don't know what's being said. <laughs> oh, well. Bit of bad luck you're having, Ben. All right, so I'm just going to buff it off a bit more and I'm going to lack of that. Make them colours pop. Yeah. Oh. Gary. Gary's just jumped right in there, says I unless you've got eighty pounds of eighty pounds of weight on your back. You're absolutely right there, Gary. Ain't no fun up near Sandy Bridge, I have to say. Right, so we we'll use Brian's favourite lacquer. My favourite lacquer, Alfords. They keep telling me there's no ball in it. There is no ball in it. <laughs> Girl, you shake it and see if you hear a ball rattling. There isn't this one. Ah, you must have an old can then. All right, let's give it a coat of lacquer then. Get my board. Don't want spray paint all over my life. Okay. You're shaking it. Says, Come home yeah. to a real fire. Buy a cottage in Wales. Yeah. I remember they had a spate of that burning out cottages that were holiday homes. Right, so, turn lave on slow. Hey. Extraction on. Should take this longer, but... See, I never ever spray it with the <sighs> later on. Why not? I don't know why that is. I just because I don't feel you get the right coverage. The right coverage. The correct coverage. It's just liable to run when you're turning it. Well, if you don't put a heavy coat on, it's not. Did you see my message, Roy the boy, Brian? Did you see my message, Roy the boy? No, I obviously missed it. I will look back now, <clears throat> Brian. Just sent you a picking Facebook messenger from the area. Oh. When do you get? When you get? Facebook Messenger. Quickly on the Facebook Messenger. Let's have a look. See what he said. 
Well, send me a photograph. There we go. Ooh, that's a nice piece of wood, Roy. Really? What sort of pictures are you showing? Send them. It's a piece of wood. It wouldn't fit How on my legs either. How many coats of lacquer are you going to do, Steve? Just a couple, I think. Well, you can't need to wait 15 minutes between coats then. Or it doesn't work right. And uh, Derek is being very bold again. And he's uh, suggesting that the best view of Edinburgh is the view in your rear mirror when you're heading back to Glasgow. <laughs> There's, there speaks a Glaswegian. <laughs> Obviously. Well, you see, the problem is there, Derek, I was born right slap bang in the middle in Bathgate. So. But then we moved to Edinburgh before moving north to Kirimia. So what's everybody got planned for the weekend then? Um, I'm if I'm fence judging tomorrow at an event, a one day event. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing a fence nice. judge for the cross country phase. So I'll do a little uh, YouTube live tomorrow or a Facebook live tomorrow. Let you see a couple of horses going by if you're interested. And she'll be there from one o'clock to six or from half twelve to six o'clock tomorrow evening. Nice. And then on Sunday, I'm spending the day on Sunday. I need to make, I need to do a video of the microphone that I've been sent for doing voiceovers and blogs, etc. I have to do that this week. Sounds like you've got a busy weekend, Brian. My plan for Saturday, Sunday. What's everybody else doing? And we end the exciting plan because this is a holiday weekend. It is. I want to make stuff that's uh, joined us. Good evening. Good I, evening. I want to make stuff. Uh, Mark General Wood Turner says he's celebrating Sunday. What, because he's made it for another week or? It's his birthday. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know. I'm joking. <laughs> oh. Oh. He's celebrating his 71st birthday, apparently. Yay, 71. Yeah. Hey, congratulations, yeah. you what made it. When you get that old, you've got to celebrate everyone, don't you? You never know. Made it. That's right. Hey, and Douglas has reminded me there that the Donalister Estate has nine cottages, ranging from two beds up to 14 beds. Wow. It's 14 bedroom, that's, is that not just a mansion house? Dave Oatley, say, Dave Oatley says the uh, lacquer really makes a difference to the colours of that paint. It does. It, it, mm. it lifts them completely. Gary's saying Gary Glass still is still working, working unfortunately. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gary. Shocking. I'm not working. I've had enough of work. It's overrated. Weevil says, Weevil says she's still making tulips. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's got a dozen be... to make. So, that's dry. So I think that's as Ready? far as we can. Yeah, it's dry, mate. Oh, it's quick. Uh, Doug Miller was asking, uh, did you get the lacquer in the middle? Yes, I did. Of course, your of course your uh, your workshop is probably about twenty four degrees at the moment. Um, no, it's not that warm. It's only twenty one. <laughs> only twenty one. That's why it's, that, that's why it's drying. Then. I can't believe right. Brian was moaning last Saturday that it was too hot in the workshop. It was <laughs> roasting in your workshop. Absolutely roasting. But then there was five big bodies on it too. You so. So let's get this. Terry was Terry was running running around like a halfway. Yes, this is true. He was. <laughs> Terry was um, being a comedian as he always is. Yeah. Right, so let's uh, go this on overhead camera. And, Andy Berkeley says that guys, that piece is stunning. It is. Good evening, Thank Andy. You. Let's focus it in so it's on focus. Would be good. 
So there you go. There it is. I don't want to handle it too much because it's uh, still a bit tacky. But don't know if I can get a bit closer. That's a bit better. So there you go. The only thing there is wrong with it is there's a little bit of wax in the back that I'll have to polish out. No. Just there. Uh, yeah, just I will do. Once, you, once your lacquer's ready, just hit it. And yeah, I will do. Just melt right. it in. Just melt it in, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it should be all right. Um, Excellent. See that. Somebody said I was going to... So there you go. Something I simple mix. tonight. I, I want to make stuff says I'm going to have to rewind this stream. Uh, that looks awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's, uh, yeah, something simple. Just a small platter. Well, it's not a small platter. I suppose it's, what is it? Ten and a half inches across? Eleven inches across? Eleven, just over it, well, eleven and a quarter inches across, but I would imagine around about forty-five mil deep. So it's not a deep. Got some really nice com comments coming in, Steve. Lovely, oh, damn, that's nice, beautiful, nice. Work <laughs> Great Thank you very much. Easter eggs. Sorry, forgot, but this is Easter egg week. Hashtag Easter egg week. Yes, it is. Do we yes. need to, Do we need to have pictures in by today? If you can get, yeah, because um, obviously I didn't do a live last Friday to show it out. So um, you can get your pictures over me, over to me today. That would be great. And then I will do the, the, the montage for Sunday Lunchtime Live. Perfect. I've already done one. I'm doing another one. On yeah, one. there's been a few sent them in. There's been quite a few coming already. So Good. just saying, just saying, just saying simple tonight. I didn't want to do nothing too technical because I didn't, I don't feel like it, to be honest. So, uh, Steve, Steve's not feeling very well, guys. He's got a bit of a cold. No. <laughs> Pete gave him. Yeah, Pete gave it to me. Oh, Thanks Pete. for sharing that, point, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> he's kind like that. Yeah, he's uh, sh sharing his caring, they say. So, anyway, yeah, just a small player. I have a piece of elm. Joe Sonia colours. Base coat was the chestnut products, ebonizer lacquer. But you can use black spray paint. You haven't got to use ebonizer lacquer. You can use black spray yep. paint. Um, and then you don't it have to use... It takes a bit longer to dry, Steve. That's all, Yeah, it? that's exactly it. But it really wants to be a satin finish, not a gloss finish. Uh, a satin finish would give you a little better look, bit, bit better look. Um, and again, with the the iridescence, they haven't got to be Joe Sonia's. There are many different colours, companies out there who do iridescence. Oh, um, Brian did some a few weeks ago. Showed us some iridescence that he got from the range. Uh, these ones, I did. graduate, and these are. It says metallic, but they are like a, a an iridescent -y color. So these are yep. what are these about three ninety five four quid each? I saw like that four quid each was on my. Yeah, so they're not, not mega expensive. Not mega expensive. So there are other companies out there you haven't got to use them, or you could go on to places like Amazon and buy sets like this. These um, these are. No, not that one. No, that's clear. You don't want that one. I bought a set. I bought a set from Amazon. Got it for Christmas. 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 Here they are. These are the ones. So these come from Amazon. Bars going to your head. See, these come from Amazon. These ones. Does. And these are very similar. So easier. So um, you mean there's several different manufacturers out there. You don't have to buy the Joe Sonyas. The only reason I use Joe Sonyas is because I, I, you mean I, I watched Wayne do it and I wanted to have a go at what Wayne did. That's the only reason I bought Joe yep. Sonyas. Me too. But like I say, there's don't matter really. It could be any. It could just be normal paints, could it? It so yep. hasn't, hasn't got to be iridescence. But there you go. Just a basic oh. platter. Right, let's bring you guys back in. <gasps> oh no. So there we go. Easy as that. Set, set up, set up, and pay attention. Set up and pay attention. Stop slouching your I've chair. I've been sat up and paying attention all the time. I've not <laughs> well, had me a dog on the desk that. in front of me. It's like having two kids. It is. It's really like having two kids. I was just having a wee sleep, Joe. It's fine. <laughs> so a short live tonight. Um, the reason being is I'm, I don't feel 100, percent but I wanted to come in because I didn't come. I didn't have to do a live last week, so I wanted to do a live. But it's not a massive live, so I do apologise for that. All right, all right, stop. Be all right, stop being a marble now. It's fine. Get over yourself. Where's my tissue? To my <laughs> <laughs> so I will be back on Sunday. Sunday. Yes, I will be back Sunday. Sorry, with the um, Sunday. I'll do the montage for the Easter egg hashtag Easter egg week. Um, we've had a few in. Um, if you've got some pictures you want to send over to me before Sunday, 
if you can send them to me by lunchtime tomorrow, that would be great. Uh, if not, they might not get in because um, tomorrow evening I'll most probably sit down and actually do it ready for Sunday lunchtime live because it's not a five minute thing. You have to, there's quite a bit of work involved. So I need a few hours to get it all put together. So normally I start it on a Saturday evening and finish it on a Sunday morning. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, if you've got some pictures, send them over to me. Um, other than that, I think that's about it. Um, nothing else to say, I don't think. No, nothing else to say. Uh, massive thank you to every, each and every yeah. one of you guys who wish me happy birthday. Really do appreciate it. Um, um, I was overwhelmed by the amount of messages I had for my birthday, so I appreciate that. And uh, man flu. Yeah, that's what Nick says, man flu. So, but anyway, yeah. Michelle said, I bet that was Michelle said that, wasn't it? Was Michelle said that? No, Douglas, among them. Michelle says that to me all the time. Yeah, but no. Uh, it's not very often. It's not very often I sit around feeling sorry for myself. But this afternoon I did because I felt absolutely lousy when I come back from my, father, my mother and father-in-law's. But anyway, that's another story. So shall we knock it on the head, then? Indeed. Shall we knock it on the head, then, guys? Yes, man. Yes. Right. I think you should. Right then, guys. So I'll see you Sunday lunchtime. Um, have a great weekend. Enjoy your Easter that's weekend. Easy. Brian, I'll see you. I'll see you on Monday. Brian, I'll see you Monday for the the resin. The resin. The resin. <laughs> the resin. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget. I don't forget our Terry will be on a Monday lunchtime. That's it, Terry. Temporary turn and Terry will be back on oh, Monday lunchtime. Yeah. Then, so I don't know what I'm going to do Sunday. I was going to do a resin egg, but now Brian's doing one. I might not. So we'll see. I'll see what I do. <laughs> Give up. <laughs> You can do a resin egg if you want, but I'm doing East, I'm doing a resin egg for Easter Monday. Well, there you go. I'll do an Easter egg for Easter Sunday. How's that? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so anyway, Two eggs in a row. <laughs> anyway, guys, have a great weekend. Uh, I'll see you Sunday. Enjoy your time with your family and your loved ones and whatever else you're going to do. Um, these guys say goodbye. I say goodbye. So have a great time, guys. Goodbye, guys. And I'll see you Sunday. Bye, everybody. Good night, guys. Thanks for coming over. What story mark am I on? Bye. Oh. Man flu. <laughs> Bye, everybody. I'm a bit of the end of it, and that's all, folks.